Jesus gets this declaration, he gets baptized, he gets this declaration given over him, and then his ministry explodes. Nope. That's not what happens. Let's see what happens in the very next verse. You ready? It says this, the spirit then compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness. Wait, I thought this was my coronation. (laughs) I thought this was my coronation to this amazing ministry I'm gonna start. Then Jesus, then the spirit then compelled Jesus to go into the wilderness where he was tempted by Satan. Hello, for 40 days, he was out among the wild animals I know angels took care of him too. Have you ever got a powerful word over your life? A prophetic word over your life? And you're like, I can't wait to see this happen. And in the very next season, wilderness. (laughs) But God, you said I was gonna do this. You said I was gonna do that. You said I was gonna go and take the nations, God. Wilderness. 2020 is gonna be my best year yet, pandemic. Haven't got a haircut in two months, look crazy. You know, I don't know what it is, right? That happens. But I want you to know the wilderness. The wilderness is so good. It's in the wilderness that you learn intimacy with the Father. It's in the wilderness that you build trust and character. It's in the wilderness that you grow into the man and woman of God that you're supposed to be. Don't get mad about the wilderness, embrace it. Don't get, don't get upset and say, ah, I'm done with the wilderness. Embrace it. The wilderness is breeding ground for all that God wants to do in your life. The wilderness is the breeding ground for everything that God wants to do in your life. Don't complain about the wilderness. Don't get mad about the wilderness. Don't rush through the wilderness. For Jesus, it was 40 days. For some of us, it's longer. For some of us, it's shorter. There's a season of wilderness that all of us need to go through. 